Viewer discretion is advised by some dweebs, but not us. Hello footage, this is Catching Fur 3, and if, if you don't remember this, and if you've never seen it, I did a video on this a long time ago. Coco, oh no, Doki Doki Senpai. And this time I know how to edit and whatnot. Today is my first day at Sakura Blossom Academy. I am so excited to go to my first class, but also very nervous too. My life has not always been this crazy, and I am not looking forward to what the future might bring. It is scary because it is unknown. Ooh. I am hoping my first day will be good, though, because the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. That's what my grand grand would always tell me, at least. Well, your grand grand is probably right. I don't always believe her, though, because she also spoke to her cat, so maybe she's not right. Maybe she's a crazy old cat lady. I'm sure my first day will be great, though. I am assigned to class B52. The class is called Learning for Mental Defectives. It teaches me how to learn. Ooh, I already don't like that. I don't get it. Oh, <laughs> my student aid buddy is a girl named Mukayubi. I have never met her before, but her name means Thursday. She must be an important person to be named after a day of the week. So, yep, you're defective. Uh, I have never really thought about girls romantically until now. I guess that's why they call it puberty, huh? Okay. But I know that a third year student like myself shouldn't be thinking such naughty thoughts about first year Mokka UB. Yes, you should not. So instead I think about what I should do next. What should I do? Go to the cafeteria and order a Super Sugoi Bento Box Desune? <laughs> what the hell? Whip out your Johnson- and now, we take a moment to reflect on your relationship with your grandmother. I think I'll go to the cafeteria. Before I get to do what I am planning on doing, the bell rings, of course. I'm late for class. I curse at myself in my head for my utter carelessness and tardiness. I just realized I have not seen my student aid buddy, Mokoyubi, yet. You... She No, who? Oh, she must be late for class as well. I wonder if this means we're meant to be together. Anybody who thinks that is really weird, to be honest. I'm about to leave when I turn my head. I'm nearly blinded by the radiant goddess of beauty that stands before me. That's... She doesn't look beautiful. Maybe, like... Nah. Nah. Ohio! I'm Moku-chan. Um, I, I guess I'm your new student aid buddy. This is pretty great. I have never had such a quiet little brother before. You must be the new student player-kun, right? She thinks I'm kawaii, yes! Maybe the stars are right and we are meant to be together for all eternity and beyond. You're weird. I'm Player Kun, yeah, are you Moku Yubi? Silly, call me Moku Chan, all my friends do. F -f -f friends What? She thinks I'm her friend? Just a friend? Aw, not soulmate? Not handsome stranger? Not star-crossed lover, not even casual sex partner. My heart sinks in disappointment. I have never, I have been put in the friend area. Friend area. <laughs> this pretty girl already thinks I'm nothing more than a friend. Okay, Moku-chan. Moku-chan is giving me this eye stare thing. I can't tell if she's peering into my soul with foul magic or is attempting to undress me with her eyes. Are you okay, player Coon? You look really sad all of a sudden. Shit, did you notice that I like her that easily? Fuck, I got too careless. I can't make a mistake like that again. It could be the end of me. Oh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm fine. See, fine. I try to force a smile, but it doesn't work really. I don't think Moguchin is buying my poorly fabricated charade. Damn it all, I should have gone to acting class. I don't want her to catch on to me, though. I need to think of a distraction instead. Hey, look at that! Where? Haha, <laughs> Nick UK! I gotta listen to that. Eat the whole booty, get the fuck out of there. What are you doing, you stupid idiot? Pork chop sandwiches. Eat the whole booty. As I'm gearing up to take some seriously drastic actions, the school bell rings. Saved by the bell, TM. Fucking hell, we're late for class again? Your teacher's going to get so mad at you. What a way to make a first impression. Mogu-chan giggles at my misfortune. Her 
black twin tails bob up and down ever so gingerly as her tiny breasts try to jiggle on her school uniform but don't. Her laugh rattles my heart, my bones and my ears. It is very high, it is very high pitched. Ow. Imagine that? It is so fucking kawaii. Kawaii doesn't is fuck. <laughs> I turn and begin following her through the hallway to the classroom. I have no idea where I am going. Her monochrome booty <laughs> serves as a proverbial white rabbit, leading me to the one land of knowledge known as Sakura Blossom Academy. I am enamored with her young butt. Oh, Jesus Christ, don't say that. Before I know it, we arrived at the classroom. That's not a classroom, that's a hallway. Wow, this is your classroom? Wogi Chen is staring at the door to the class in shock. There is feces on the window and everything. As if she has just seen something awe inspiring. Yeah, there's. It's feces, you weirdo. This is my only chance classroom. Sugoi! Her big brother? He's in my class as well? What kind of conspiracy is this? Is the school faculty plotting against me, trying to torment me with this? I am very reluctant to enter the door to the class after hearing this unsettling news. And now she's dancing all of a sudden. I don't know what I'm to do. Her dancing is like so mesmerizing. Maybe you and my only ten will become best friends and have sleepovers. I go. <clears throat> As sweat begins to coagulate around my neck stubble. Not good. Oh my god, that's even worse. It's a neck beard. Wouldn't that be funny? My brother and the new kid, best friends forever. I'm having a hard time breathing. Then at your sleepovers, you would get to see me running around the house in my pantsu. Oh God. Suddenly this idea doesn't seem so bad. I love running around my house in barely any clothing. It's one of my hobbies. It's good I have a hobby, you know? Perhaps this conspiracy is not as malicious as I, as I had once thought. It seems as though the stars are once again leading me to my destiny and to Mogri-chan's first year, uh... Pussy. I didn't want to say that too loud. SCORE! Yeah, that actually sounds nice. I should get to know your brother. I'm sure he's a nice guy like me. Oh no, not a nice guy. That means he's not as nice as he says. He's waiting for you behind that door. It's the door to your classroom. He's in your class. Get going. You're already late, you silly retard. And I can I can say that because I have autism, so don't worry. Go into the classroom and introduce yourself. <laughs> I know what I'm doing already. I must stir up as much curse as I can. What am I about to do? What I am about to do is going to be the most dramatic thing I ever done in my entire life. I open the door. I slip on a banana peel that is laying on the floor. I nearly break my neck at the short force of impact. I pass out. There's an emo right here, and then this thing that kind of looks like Deadpool, but it is a monster. When I awake, I'm greeted by a horrifying sight. Oh, what is that monster? I'm in hysterics. That's not very nice, new kid. I'm not that ugly. Oh, <laughs> It's, it's it's this child. Baka, I'm talking about that creature next to you. Oh, that's Largo Senpai. He's not a monster. He's just European. Fun learning that this creature is European, and all I can picture is this uncircumcised penis. Ew. I begin to shriek once again in sheer horror. Stop that! You're going to break my ears with that noise. I stop screaming when I realize that the European monster is not doing anything at all. He's just staring at nothing in particular. What a fucking creep. Cease your bickering, scrubs. Sensei, Sensei. Your children! I, I can't do it. He looks like a funky guy, though. Your children must stop fighting. A school is not Africa. This is no place for a civil war. <laughs> I can tell that this man is the teacher. He is a scary man. I don't like it when adults shout. It almost makes them sound mad. My name is Sensei Sensei. I am going to be your teacher this year. Ow! This is going to be your only class because you are special students. This class is called Learning for Mental Defectives. You will learn how to learn. But Sensei Sensei, I don't have a learning disability. I'm emotional problems. I have emotional problems and angst. It doesn't matter! Your mental defectives according to your permanent records. 
What did he just say? I don't have any mental problems. I am a perfectly average Japanese male. So listen up, you window lickers. I'm going to spend the next 145 days trapped in here with you troglodytes. We might as well make this pleasant. Tell me your names and stuff about yourself. I'll start with you, skinny jeans. Uh, my name is Emo-kun. I'm the lead singer of my hardcore band, Tears of Unenthusiasm. We're touring next month. We're gonna be playing at my cousin's 8th birthday party and at the rec center every other Friday. Seriously? <laughs> cousin's 8th birthday. That doesn't sound good. I also like death, roses, what kind of roses? Black roses? Skulls, sadness, metrosexuality, eye makeup, and hair dye. I don't know what metrosexuals are, so. Uh, I want to be a professional aesthetic. When I grow up, I'm working on my aesthetic now. Oh, okay, so I'm right. You sound like a cat slap. Next person. Alright, what's your major malfunction, fathead? The big-headed freak named Largo Senpai just stands there staring. He doesn't seem like much of a talker, but I can feel there's a slight disturbance in the force. I think the universal hum that permeates all beings has momentarily reached singularity. I pee a little as my eardrums melt and sink into the recesses of my brain. Thank you very much! It's a pleasure to have you with us, Ambassador. I find Sensei Sensor's response a bit off kilter. How about you, you sloppy looking degenerate? What's your deal? My name is Player Kun. I'm from Shibuya and. <laughs> Sorry, the name really got me. And I'm a pretty average guy. I like average things like bean curd, mathematics, formality, respecting elders, martial arts, and pansu. Of course, he would like pansu because every normal person does. Of course. My favorite TV shows are Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, but I occasionally watch Burst Angel when I'm being no good. What the hell? What the hell? Hold on, what's Burst Angel? I'm guessing it's some kind of... Hold on, let me check. Um... Okay, so it's like softcore porn. Okay, got it. Maybe I do have mental problems. You sound like a perfectly average adolescent Japanese male. Perhaps you should not be in this class. I should report you to the authorities. No, this can't happen. If I'm kicked out of this class, I will never be able to befriend Moku-chan's brother and see her pants with you. Shit, this is not good. No, sir, I do have mental defections. I begin to eat paste out of a jar in large quantities. Well, quantites, I should say. But that is very offensive. Not to me, but of course. Slow down there, champ. You'll get a tummy ache. Wow, you must be both mentally challenged and hungry. I think it's time we all took a lunch break. I am nervous about eating my first lunch away from home. Grand Grand would always tell me that bad men will put cyanide and semen in your bento box when you're not looking. But today I was served lunch by several overweight middle-aged women. I'm not too worried about the semen, at least. Cyanide's another matter. Well, anyway, I get my food and make my way to the tables. I see Moku-chan sitting at one of the tables alone. I wonder why such a pretty young girl isn't surrounded by a harem of young men at all times. Well, I don't know how young she is, but she must be pretty young. Hey, Moku-chan, is anyone sitting here? I am, silly. Can't you see? No, I'm I'm mentally blind. <laughs> that was a stupid joke. Well, I meant, is anyone else sitting here? No, you must be. Bl wow, I make a mentally blind joke. You must be blind or something. I'm the only one sitting here, fuck ass. <laughs> I wish it was shit ass because that one's the funnier of the two names. Monkey Chan giggles very desolately. How do you just giggle desolately? Or, that's not even a word, they just made it up. I can't get mad at the insult because she's just too cute. Can I sit here? You have to You have to sit here. It's my job to make sure you don't hurt yourself, so I have to watch you most of the time. Most of the time? 
Well, I mean, I trust you to do certain things by yourself, like walk around school without cracking open your noggin and letting the cottage cheese that is your brain seep out. Whoa, that is, that is very mean. And of course, I'm not going to follow you into the boys' bathroom or anything. That's dirty. Oh, she just winked. She winked. I saw, I saw that. Moku-chan winked at me. I have absolutely no fucking clue how to interpret this right now. What do you have on your plate there? Perfect time to say something that will make her think I'm witty. What? Are you blind? Can you not see what is on my plate here? Aw, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Moku-chan's disposition immediately changes from chipper and lighthearted to extremely sad and brooding. It's at this moment that I realize she looks like a bit like Emo-kun. Why would you say that? Making fun of the less able is immature and childish. You should be ashamed of yourself. Didn't you call me blind? Clearly I am not blind. Your feeble attempts at witticism are embarrassing and make my opinion of you sink to new lows. If your personality was a penis, it would be small and flaccid. <laughs> How could this happen? I'm such a screw-up. It means that now the stars are conspiring against me once again. I'm just kidding. Make fun of the less able is one... Making fun of the less able is one of my favorite things to do. Make up your fucking mind, stars. Moku-chan giggles and spews spittle. Is it, would she be the one that's mentally inept or something? She covers her mouth attempting to contain her spit. I wish she didn't though. I would love for her mouth few fluids to touch. Oh, that's, that's disturbing. That memory wouldn't... Okay, let's skip that one. Are you thinking about dirty thoughts, player coon? No, no, no! I begin to sweat. That is something I would not do, and even if I did, could you blame me? I mean, you are such a beautiful girl, Moku-chan. I know, but don't get any ideas, pervert. You're making the pervert face right there, so. Baka, that must have been my puberty acting up again. I must learn to have tact. If I keep making mistakes like this, I will end up losing Moku-chan forever. Even the stars may not be able to help me if I majorly fuck up in the future. In any case, I don't want to get caught with my pants down. No more surprises, even though, if I remember correctly, he does get caught with his pants down. I'm going to think everything through and not be stupid anymore. Being stupid is a pretty dumb idea after all. Well, technically, yeah. Moku-chan and I started up a new conversation. I will not fail at su uh, succeeding now. The, uh, well, I mean, there is a suck in succeeding, so you could suck at it. You mean, you seem like a perfectly average adolescent Japanese male. I bet you watch anime. Actually, I do. Nerd! <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. It's okay, my brother is an otaku too. You two would get along great. Yeah, I don't think I saw your brother in class today. What's his name? Emo-kun. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Man, that was really er, a really tiring first day of school. I can't believe that Moku-chan's brother is that annoying, brooding, cock-slap emo-kun. <laughs> Maybe my plans to smaller pants won't come to fruition after all. That's my plan, by the way. Ah, oh, that emo-kun. I have no idea what the two of us could possibly have in common. He wears tight jeans, I wear loose-fitting jeans. He listens to tight jeans music, I listen to K-pop. I like the tight jeans m music better than K-pop, to be honest. He reads books about vampires in tight jeans. I read books about magical girls that trip and their boobs are forced into the, space the face of the male protagonist. Well, they're wearing tight jeans. <laughs> no, that would be funny though. See, nothing in common. Sheesh, I can't wait to get back to my new dorm room. I haven't been there since this morning. I forget what it looks like. Come to think of it, I forget why my parents sent me to this boarding school in the first place. Probably because they thought I was gay or something, but if, uh, it's not my fault they think I'm gay, hopefully. Maybe it had something to do with the fact that my mother is an alcoholic and my father is away at work all the time. Plus, half the time he's there, he's fucking his secretary. I don't think either of my parents are qualified to be parents, so they sent me here so that my teachers would be my parents. Or, or something like that. Fuck if I know. I'm just looking forward to watching some ecky or etchy, I don't know, and getting to bed. I'm bushed. I open my door and find the worst of all. What are you doing here, dweeb? That emo coon really steams me up. This is my dorm room butt face. Oh, I would love to see his face turn into, like, a butt. Oh, that would be hilarious. 
Impossible, this is my dorm room. Why am I not fucking surprised? It seems like we are roommates then. Yeah, looks like it. In that case, let me lay down some ground rules. Don't ever look in my secret box that has some personal items in there that are meant to be secret because dorks like you can't appreciate true art. I'm, I'm, pfft, I'm already lost. Don't get crumbs on my bed. Don't ever wear any of my clothes or use my makeup. By the way, I really hope you like my amazing band Tears of Unenthusiasm because we're going to practice in here. You know, dude, that name is really gay sounding. What? I said, you know, dude, that name is really great sounding. I would like to rub my flaccid penis on the face of an anthropomorphized incarnation of your bit. What the fuck? Yo, nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's sm that smiled. Uh, uh, that makes me kind of uncomfortable. Is then that emo kern. Uh, emo kern. Emo kun smirked at me for about half a second, but he did it nonetheless. You know, maybe you are a cool guy. I can't really tell yet. Same with you, man. I'm just hoping you're not like anal about stuff or anything. Oh, no, I do like anal. What? I said, would you be interested in eating a bowl of Captain Crunch? It's nature's superfood. What is natural about Captain Crunch? They do they even sell that in this country? They, I don't think so. You don't question the captain; he'll fuck you up. Just shut up and eat it. You'll thank me later. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm scared to find out what's in it. Oh, it doesn't tell you. I wake up the next morning and I have a funny feeling in my pants. There's a giant circle of piss that apparently permeated my pants and wetted the bed sheets. I'm freaking out. I look to see if Emo Kun is watching. This would be so embarrassing if he was. Maybe it's not P, you know. Luckily, he's long gone. <laughs> I run into the hallway to see if I can use the bathroom. I suddenly feel like I have to shit. <laughs> oh God! Oh man! Oh God! Oh man! Oh God! Oh man! Oh! God! Oh man! Oh God! This is no good. I'm going to shit myself right in this hallway, and the co-ed hallway knows this. <laughs> That's all farts, by the way. Super kawaii girls were laughing at my inability to control my bowels. I try to clench my cheeks as I cover my crush area so others can't see my pieces. in. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Am I losing it? I'm certainly losing any knowledge of potty training I may have once received. <laughs> oh, I guess that's why they call it puberty, huh? That's... What? I can't control it. I'm going to lose myself. That's not me. I didn't even make that sound effect. I just fucking shot my pants in the hallway. Well, what could have done this? Must have been the cap'n. Damn the cap'n. Damn you, Captain Crunch. Damn you to hell. And all these showers are occupied. Class starts in five minutes. I'm going to be late for school. This is such an unusual predicament that I'm sure no one in my position has ever felt before. Why someone would be late to school for any reason other than shitting to themselves is a profound mystery indeed. I'm going to change my clothes, but I'm still going to smell like shit and piss all day. Oh, god damn, the stars, they don't align again! And so I did. At lunch, Monkey Chan does not want to sit next to me because of the smell. I sit alone like a loser. It's a conspiracy! Damn you, stars! Sensei Sensei tells me to leave class and take a shower when I got back because he finally noticed the, spell, the smell. Emo Kun explains to me that Captain Crunch is a controlled substance in some countries. He asks us if I ever learned about it in health class, I tell him I didn't. He calls me a dweeb. He says he only gave me 10 ounces, which shouldn't have been enough to cause me to over. over wait, what? Apparently, I can't hold my sweetened corn and oh breakfast cereals. How do you... I guess in some places. Maybe he's allergic to it. I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to develop a tolerance if I'm going to survive in today's competitive workforce. I go to class again the next day. I no longer smell like piss and shit, which is preferable to my prior olfactory status. The lunch purveyors are out of every possible food. Sushi, rice, kimchi, hamburger, sandwiches, cur curry bread. I I've personally never heard of bread, curry, or whatever. They got jack shit except for one thing. Cereal. Oh no, I am face to face once again with my old nemesis. In class, I pray that I can hold in my projectile shits till I get back to my dorm. 
You know that feeling when you take a shit and it's just so satisfying? That's how I feel right now. You know what? I have a feeling that this is going to be a pretty boring sequence, so you might just want to click through it, but don't click too fast or you will, you'll be a big willy and miss important plot events. So far, so good, but if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below what you want me to do next, subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be over in your favor.